after effects. How many times have you done something and thought by yourself there has to be an easier way? Yeah all the time. Today I have 5 quick hacks for you guys that'll make you a faster and better creator. Before we start, all the project files are down below in the description. So, hack 1 is a feature I forgot that it actually exists. Masking an effect inside the effect itself. For example, you want glow only on a part of a layer, but a normal mask masks with other things on that layer. Here's how to fix that. Grab the pen tool from the top toolbar and draw a mask on your layer, roughly where you want the effect to be. Now, now open up the layers effects in the timeline, twirl down the effect you're using, scroll all the way to the bottom to compositing options, click this little plus icon, which will let you choose your mask. Boom! That effect now respects only that mask, while the rest of the layer stays untouched. It's crazy handy when you've got multiple effects on one layer and you want surgical control. Hack number 2. The Feature Tool. Not to be confused with the global mask feather slider, the actual feather tool. This one is perfect when you need custom feathering that's soft in some spots and tight in others. In the toolbar, click and hold the pen tool to reveal the feather tool. It looks like a feather. Select your masked layer. Then click along your mask to add feather points. Drag a point inwards or outwards to control how far the feather extends at that spot. Now, here's a couple of pro tips so that you don't rage quit. Decide early whether you're dragging those handles outward or inward. Pick a direction and stay consistent. Also, do your detailed feathering before you animate the mask pad. The feather tools fall off get stored in the mask keyframes. So changing it after you've already animated can reset things. But when this tool is used right, this is gold for VFX and tricky compositions. Now, as a video editor, I don't have enough time to shoot every clip myself, and I'm sure you feel the same. That's why I use the Storyblocks plugin in Premiere Pro and After Effects. All you gotta do is type in a keyword and boom. Look at these beautiful cinematic shots all made by real artists. They're not AI generated like on most stock libraries nowadays. You just click the download button and boom, it will appear in your project panel. No need to leave After Effects. Unlimited downloads of diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost. Storyblocks has everything you need in one place. 4K and HD video, templates, music and sound effects. It's like an unlimited source of content that gives you freedom to test, experiment and create more effective videos. You can choose a monthly or annual plan, no hidden fees or extra costs. Now this is important to know, the stock library is constantly being refreshed with new content that feels authentic. Again, it's created by real artists, not by AI. Anything you download is 100% royalty free, pre-licensed and ready to use. No need to worry about copyrights strikes, legal claims, anything like that. Oh, and you can get three extra months for free when you sign up for the annual plan. This offer is ending very soon, by the way. So head over to starblocks.com slash After Effects Basics or just click the link down below. Hack number three is tiny but mighty. The adjustment layer toggle for any layer. Yes, you can create a normal adjustment layer from the menu, but there's a faster trick when you already have a layer that's animated and you want its effects to hit everything beneath. In your timeline, switch slash modes area, enable the little icon that turns a layer into an adjustment layer. This one right here. Now that layer will apply its effects to all the layers below. You can turn solids, shapes, basically anything into an adjustment source. Super flexible. All right, hack number four, align along path the fast way. Say you want a logo or shape to travel along a custom route. Yes, you could keyframe the position property and that would take forever. Or you can draw a custom path and use that as a reference. Take the pen tool and draw a path. This will create a new shape layer. Twirl open that shape layer, find the path, drop down, select the path property, then press Ctrl plus C or Command plus C to copy it. And now go to the layer you want to animate. Select its position property and press Ctrl plus V or Command plus V. Your Layer now has position keyframes that follow your path perfectly. Now if you want it to go slower, you can select all the keyframes and while holding ALT drag the last keyframe to the right, making the entire animation slower. And even better, if you want it to face the direction it's traveling, go to the top menu, layer, transform, auto orient and choose orient along path. Done! If the angle is a little off, nudge it with the rotation property or adjust the anchor point to sit nicely on the path. 
Now the last hack of today, and this one levels up your keyframe game, the value graph. We all love the speed graph for easing or animations, but the value graph lets you shape the actual values over time. Why do we need that? Well, for that perfect bouncy overshoot look. Let's create a bouncing scale animation. Select your layer, press S for scale and enable the animation for this property. The first keyframe will be zero. Then you can move forward a bit and set another keyframe at 115% for a nice overshoot. Again, a little further, make a keyframe for 85% and then 100%. Now copy those last two keyframes two more times for that bounce. Of course, I will now select all the keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. Now let's navigate to the graph editor button. If you're seeing the speed graph, switch it to the value graph from the little graph options button at the bottom. The one that looks like a panel. Now you can see the actual value curve. Grab the bezier point on the top and while holding alt, pull the last point down a touch. Do the same thing for the low points, pulling them up a bit. What you're doing is tightening the amplitude so each bounce is smaller than the last, like real physics. You can apply the same ID to position, rotation, stroke width and animatable properties. And that's it. If you want to learn more about Adobe After Effects, click the video right here to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.